three, two, two. Oh, my lord. Okay, we're rolling. Looks like we're rolling. Okay, one, two, three. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. If you're new to the channel, my name is Trevor. Uh, and if you haven't seen the thumbnail, obviously the Edmonton Oilers uh, finish. They have they've clinched. Uh, they have they've obviously clinched a playoff spot. And uh, we find out found out tonight after their 5-1 uh, win over the Pittsburgh Penguins, they are going to finish second place in the Pacific, which means they will have home ice advantage to start the Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, this is huge, you know, obviously with uh, last year's playoffs, um, yeah, I kind of talked about that with the last episode, um, you know, things are going to be a lot different. We, you know, we got home ice advantage. This is huge. We, we've done pretty good against the Los Angeles Kings all year. Um, it's a pretty good matchup, matchup for us. Obviously, the Kings are no slouch. You know, every team, you know, is going to be a pretty good team if you're heading into the playoffs, right? If, if you make the playoffs, that is. So, um, you know, I'm a little worried. Obviously, we've uh, played them. Uh, pretty good as a late. I think we've won the last two, so that kind of worries me that, uh, you know, is there a way that we can start things off and, you know, win another one? But, uh, yeah, they, you know, just to start things off here on this episode, uh, the Oilers just, yeah, great game. Uh, I can't even, yeah, it was just so good. Uh, obviously, McDavid, you know, the generational talents of McDavid and Crosby and, you know, the with the likes of uh, Malkin and Dreisaitl falling behind them, uh, those games are kind of the, the best games to watch. Um, in this match, you know, obviously Connor, uh, he, he, they finally are starting to, uh, you know, do good against Pittsburgh. They beat them in regulation for the first time this year, earlier and back in December. Uh, and they were able to, that was the first time they've done that since 2006. And this is now, they beat them twice in a row. That's the first time they've been able to do that since 19, uh, I think it was 88, something like that they said in the broadcast. So it's been a long time coming. Uh, Pittsburgh ha has had our numbers and, uh, you know, McDavid, uh, what can I say? Four points tonight. Show this beauty snipe. Um, yeah, a lot of great things uh, about this game. The you know the Oilers power play looked pretty good. The penalty kill was perfect. Smitty had not just one, but two chances to get a goal. The first time he shot it, there was a goal in net, which sucked because um, like right before uh, there there wasn't. So oh, if he was able to do that, that would have been the first time I ever seen that uh, happen like in person. Obviously, I've seen highlights of that, but I've never actually watched it live during a game. So that was crazy. Uh, and then he, he shot another one that just rolled like last second, like maybe four or five inches wide. Um, he started uh, going to the bench early because he thought he actually scored. So that was insane. But uh, yeah, I mean, Oilers fans, let's go baby. Like we're, we're back in the playoffs. Uh, you know, they're, they're coming home now. I think they play, uh, who do they play next? I forget. San Jose, so they play San Jose. Yeah, that's right. So they play San Jose, and then to finish off the season, they play Vancouver. And uh, if the Rogers place isn't absolutely just erupted and you know with a great atmosphere, which it should be, um, I'll be mad. You know, obviously it's playoff time, baby. Uh, this is the time of the year. This is the best time of the year. You know, right up there with the World Juniors and Christmas. Um, playoff hockey is honestly there's nothing better so this is sick um, elsewhere around the league I kind of just want to talk about this uh, you know from uh, the Oilers game uh, obviously to the biggest headline probably tonight um, if you're a hockey fan you definitely seen this Austin Matthews uh, first 60 goal scorer since uh, Steven Samko since 2011 I believe uh, this is insane obviously it's been a long time coming uh, he joins um, Alex Ovechkin and obviously Steven Stamkos. Only three players. There's only been three players in the last, uh, you know, 20 years um, that have able been, uh, to eclipse the 60 uh, goal plateau in a single season. So that is insane. Obviously, he's probably got the rocket now. It's for sure locked. He's got a five goal uh, lead on dry sidle. There's no way he scores five goals in two games, in my opinion, uh, especially if they're even. He's even going to be playing really. Um, but yeah, so that is huge uh, from one 60 goal scorer to another Steven Stamkos, uh, well, you know, what a, I, this was blown, blew my mind actually. Um, I never knew that he never reached 100 points in a single season before. Not only that, I had no idea that he was actually crushing it that bad this year, or like that much this year. So 100 point season for, uh, 100 point season for Stammer. I mean, much uh, like deserved uh, one of the greatest players, you know, goal scorers of, uh, you know, me growing up, it was always Stammer Ovi, Stammer Ovi, but um, for him to be able to get that 100 point season, you know, finally, uh, it's well deserved and uh, it's been a long time coming and something I, I was very surprised he didn't do in his younger years, especially when he had like 67, 66 goal season in one year. So it's insane. 
Uh, yeah, so I kind of just want to talk, uh, recap a little bit, but uh, Oilers fans, what are your thoughts heading into the playoffs? Do you think, you know, now that we got home ice, do you think the Oilers are going to do pretty good against uh, these teams? Do you think, or against uh, LA for that matter? you think they're going to, you know, shit the bed kind of like what they did last year? As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Kind of just wanted to rattle off this video quickly. Um, working on another video I kind of talked about in the last video. Uh, so, um, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, I cannot wait to uh, show it to you guys. Uh, yeah, so Oilers fans, let's go, baby. We, we got a playoff spot. We, you know, obviously we knew that. But second in the Pacific after, you know, being out of the playoffs as of like, you know, just over a month ago. Honestly, I, I didn't think they were going to make, make the playoffs, let alone, you know, catch up to LA and eventually secure securing second place in the Pacific. That is huge. 100 points, baby. McDavid, you know, he's probably going to get the Art Ross now. Uh, he's got a seven-point lead on the Huberto. So uh, this is music to my ears. If you're an Oilers fan, smash that subscribe button. If you're a hockey fan, feel free to do the same. And uh, that's kind of all I got for this video, guys. So just a quick little one. But uh, yeah, lots to look forward to. Yes, he will be back in the next game, I believe. And uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go Oilers. Oilers Sharks, uh, it's going to be Thursday. That's when uh, my next video will be out. So I'll see all you guys then. Take her easy. Have a great uh, few days here and see you in the next episode. Cheers. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Oilers. Let's go, baby.